woodworking shop in the last few weeks. I thought today it might be kind of fun for you to see me uh, tear some stuff apart. Actually, today I'm going to take the garage door down, take off the trim, take off the siding outside, and get this ready for the last big project in the shop, which is closing in the front of the shop, putting in a window, a door, residing it, and uh, I'll be buttoned up, ready to go for the winter. Well, maybe that's a little early, but I've still got a lot of work to do inside, but that's my next big project, so let's get after it and start tearing some stuff up. some temporary 2x4s up to take the weight off of it. I'll be knocking that out in a minute, keeping my fingers crossed, and then I'm going to start uh, building the wall. Well, the wall didn't fall down. In fact, the beam came out pretty easy. After placing and securing a bottom plate to the concrete, the rest of the wall building went pretty smooth. Once the framing was done, I was able to add half inch sheathing. If you read the article in this month's Highland Woodworking Online newsletter, you know that I had to build up a wall thickness to match the existing garage walls. I used one inch foam insulation for that. Ready to install the window and the door. 